Hello, it's me, Jackalopium. Welcome along. We're back. Playing some more Ballads of Hongye. Look how lovely this all looks. This is our new region of Dankshire Basin. It's actually still... I mean, look how chaotic it is. Uh, yeah, I'm... Yeah, we are just dumping or off camera i've just been dumping down a bunch of of new blueprints over and over again into dankshire basin and it looks super chaotic i mean it's still beautiful look at it going oh look there's a little windmill on the paper mill there so yeah it's springtime again springtime for uh hongye <laughs> we won't try and do the song uh because i don't know what the song lyrics are i know it's uh I, I, you know <laughs> you can look that up for yourself uh we won't go into it here um but yeah um this is why dankshire basin still looks like a mess i have been working on it off camera honest and honestly i'd probably prefer to keep the game running and keep on uh just uh tidying up However, there's a new, or there has been a new patch. Uh, we can have a look at that. Uh, yeah, Steam. Uh, this is the, the new patch. It dropped Saturday, January the 14th, 2023. Or whatever year this is. Is it 2023 or is it 20? I don't even know. Was it 2023 last year? I don't really. Um, but yeah, this is the new patch. It's Hongye Hotel. What is the patch number? Does it even say? I guess they're using dated patch numbers, aren't they? Like, uh, it would be like 1401 2023 as the patch number. It's a patch and it allows us to run Hongye Hotel. What the heck is that all about, man? Uh, there is, you know, you can build... A hotel select different building modules it's like a modular hotel system how amazing is that uh customer oriented approach and an advanced hotel star level we've got a new photo mode so tilt shift has been added uh, perhaps we'll look at that perhaps we won't uh, you can check out the video for yourself we're just watching a video inside we're watching a youtube video inside a youtube video that that's content that is yeah it's not gonna load because everything's uh everything's a bit too uh too heavy on the on the uh on my uh resources uh, let's cut all of that um so anyway how they've introduced this new content is they've got a new land or a new county moon canyon uh, that's how you play the new content it's in moon canyon right uh, so let's flip back to the the game uh, i've basically i've got an advisor set aside we'll probably just take tang ting shu again because uh, he's pretty good when it comes to uh, governing new lands. We did okay before. Uh, and we'll look at what it looks like. Uh, so here we go. This is Moon Canyon all the way over here. Uh, and this is the... This is the... Uh, the goals. You need to build a hotel lobby. Build a hotel guest room, build a hotel terrace, uh, and numbers there. Build a one-star hotel with guest capacity of 50, and a hotel bridge. What does that mean? What it means is, if you look at the video, and I'll I'll link to it in the uh, Jackalopium Ballads of Hongye playlist. I've just been sticking a bunch of actual official videos in the playlist as well. Uh, it's like a kind of sky hotel. It's really pretty funky. And yeah, sorry we couldn't show it as part of this video. Uh, but the problem is we don't have any bloody 
We don't have any trade links to Moon Canyon, unfortunately. I did go through them before we recorded. I went through all of my trade routes and none of them actually lead to Moon Canyon. So, I, so we can't get there from Dankshire Basin, maybe, because of that mountain range, I guess. We can't get there from West Ridge because of that great big lake, I guess. Um, so we would need to get to Moon Canyon either through North Desert or Sacrifice Vale, which means we have to do one more challenge. And that is what we've lined ourselves up for. We're going to take a challenge. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw, but it's early spring. I do give spring a few days just for the snows to clear because I like to be able to see what I'm doing as well. Uh, and then, yeah, we are going to take one of these challenges. It'll either be North Desert, which is a kind of military campaign, which I'm not sure about. Uh, and then Sacrifice Veil, vale, uh, which is, I believe this governs things like, it governs things like wonders. There is a, a wonders system, which we've not, We've obviously not got to. And if we go into the talent tree over here, these are uh, like a farming wonder, a recreation wonder, and you see they both they both list the requirements as in you own sacrifice veil. Uh, and I believe there are yeah, look security wonder, uh, and there's no wonder on this page obviously uh but yeah i think we have a look at at uh, sacrifice of veil as our next challenge we do have we do have trade links so that should allow us so let's go in and have a look at what we need to do to win in sacrifice veil uh, and yeah, the reason why I want to do this is because I want to see the Blasted Hotel. I really want to get there. So we're going to have to take Sacrifice Veil somewhat early. I mean, I I'm not sure two and a half million worth of resources is going to be enough. We should probably aim around four million probably at this stage. Although I'm still getting loads and loads of money. Um... Uh, but anyway, yeah, we are trying to still, again, I can't really sustain 100 million. I Just before we started recording, I just paid a tax bill of over 3 million gold coins. Um, or yuan, or ducats, or whatever you want to call it. But 3.5 million, man. Uh, but anyway, this is what we need to do to end up with sacri ruling in Sacrifice Vale. We need to pay 800 grand as the ownership fee. Stage one is a gold reserve of 250. That should be doable with access to our courier station and wonder building floors of three. I don't know what that means, so we'll have to figure that out. I've obviously never seen the wonders. I have seen them posted onto the Discord, but I've never gotten into the gameplay obviously because we've not we've not done this uh, and then we've got a wonder building floors of seven for stage two and then the stage three goal is a gold reserve of one million that's gonna be painful but uh, and we also need to build a commercial wonder which probably leads to a million ducats and then people are, are super happy so i don't know if we'll succeed but i say we start this so let's give it a go man uh let's look at the land traits real quick commercial hotspot gold gold production is increased by 10 percent. that's handy considering we need to get gold reserve up uh fair weather food production in summer and autumn okay food increase is nice uh, but fat of the land people's material consumption is doubled okay so this is going to be tough on resources boink let's uh, give it a go 
Yeah, you go. Uh, we're gonna use Tang Ting Shu as as before. I think he's pretty good. Uh, he is level thirteen, so maybe not particularly auspicious there. And here we go. These are the plans. Uh, which is the best? I think plan three is the best money-wise. It does look almost like uh, the upturned. The shape has just turned on its head between plan, plan two and plan three. But I'd prefer to make money in the spring and summer and autumn rather than just autumn. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look at these. Sorghum field, great field, winery, tavern. Fine. That's a lot of food. Um, then we've got horse ranch, caravan, in cattle ranch. Uh, weaving house etc but weaving house isn't what you think it is this isn't a clothes thing it's actually a you can see that it produces wood there's two different there's like weaving mill which is clothes and weaving house which i think i pointed this out before it's like rattan or bamboo weaving so that kind of thing and then this one hocker fit hocker uh, that is a cross between soccer and hockey. It's a new sport I just invented. Soccer field is pretty good. Steel forest is pretty good. Ancestral temple. Viewing tower is nice, but it's very much at the end of the... Look at that. At the uh, end of the industrial chain there. Then we've got hunter hut tannery for clothes. That's good. Clock tower is basically not useful. Geezer, great bamboo, fishing gear, fishing ground. I don't like plan three. I think we might end up going for. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, that's pretty good. I like the inn. Yeah, I'm going to go for plan two. We're going to grab the... Uh, we're also going to grab the... Escort agency. Because that will synergize well with our inn. And that will just give us a bunch of money. Uh, what else do we want to go for? I mean, money is, is the big thing here. I think we can probably sort everything else out. Our resources wise through whatever we get here. So I think we take everything commercial. Pharmacy is pretty good, but you'd need a Banyan Grove. Actually. <laughs> no, it's Bamboo. Bamboo Grove. Uh, so maybe we take the bamboo grove and a weaving house. Perhaps weaving house comes as our second. Where is the weaving house? Oh, wait, hold on. Weaving house is right there. Ta -ha, I'm an idiot. I'm actually going to take the the good old veg farm and Uh, 
we're actually going to take the veg farm and the veg shop as well because that is that is money and it's also food so i do quite like that one two train uh, uh so yeah let's uh let's give it a try man it is surrounded by mountains and beautiful scenery it's amazing says fang now who is our assistant Otherwise, how can we supervise the construction of wonders? Yeah, I don't know either. <clears throat> it seems the last one has left just after the first floor was completed. This sucks, man. Let's check the wonder building plans first. Yeah, let's look at that. Okay, so that's opened up for us. The ability to construct wonders, as we thought would probably happen. Wonder building drawings are here. Use them to create... A construction scheme. Fine. Um, what I did forget to do with our advisors, I forgot to appoint him. Uh, so let's put a pause in. How much money have we got? We've got 200,000. We're about down 20,000. Fine. Food, we're down a little bit. Clothing, we're down. I mean, and water probably does need to go up at some point. So that'll probably be the first thing we do as per usual. Where is our courier station? Where are you, my little courier station? Can you see it? <laughs> Can you see it? Uh, is it over here somewhere? No. There is the courier station. There it is. So I think the first thing we need to do really is to... Yeah, only... It's only going to take 33 days, thankfully. So let's get that up and here is our tiny little town that starts off. Look at it, it's so cute. So cute. Um, but yeah, what is our first? We need a gold reserve of 250. Okay. And a wonder building floors three of. Uh, but yeah, first things first, we... That's a really weird... Uh, again, we don't need, yeah, you, can you see that down below the, what's that? That actually shows you, I think, no it doesn't, hmm, strange, anyway, that's that, there is our advisor building. I think that was okay. It just looked weird. Um, uh, and yeah, we will get rid of that archway just because it's money that we're spending. Uh, I think first off as well, we make sure we have a morgue because that's pretty essential. Uh, we'll build it. Can we build it on the other side of the tracks? On the wrong side of the tracks. Does anybody know that song or what that band is? I used to love them when I was like a teenager. It was very much a kind of band that you listen to when you're a teenager. I thought they were really quite clever. Um, it's Biohazard, by the way. They, I thought they were awesome. But, I mean, it's not the 90s anymore, is it? Unfortunately, everybody knows that the 90s was the kind of pinnacle of human evolution. Uh, I think what we also do is we put in our mud road infrastructure. Let's just pop it down, down like so. Uh, and again, we don't need the residences to be 
Uh, the other thing we could do with looking at is the advisor locus because this watchtower doesn't need to be inside the locus because the locus exists so let's stick that there i'm gonna just upgrade it as well Let me just very quickly put in a save as well, just like a scum point. Do it. And okay, so we need food. We do desperately need food. Uh, let us put in. Oh, our market as well. That's uh, again an essential. Let's put again. Let's make. A, let's do some biting social satire. We'll put the market next to the morgue. You know that that biting satire, man. I'm so. I am so smart, me. I've got a big brain. I'm. <laughs> I'm putting them. Putting the market next to the morgue. It's satire, man. Um, but anyway, that's me talking rubbish. Um, I think um, uh, I think also, I mean, we do need to make sure that our uh, money situation is is okay as well. So. Uh, you know what that means. You know what time it is, man. It's time for blessing trees. Look at that. We are zoomed out. We are miles zoomed out. Look at that. That just goes to show how big our... It just goes to show how big this land is. We can zoom all the way out. Uh, so yeah, this is just money. Uh, I think what we also do is we start off by putting down uh, hmm, not that. I want where is it? Where is my yeah, veg farm. I'm going to pop down three. <laughs> No, two. We'll just stick at two for now. Uh, and then veg shop. There it is. Veg shop. We want two of those as well. There you go. That's two. Um... Uh, and then I think we can probably upgrade. Yeah, we already do need to upgrade. Let's upgrade the well as well. And there you go. Hey, what? Oh yeah, we're already in. We can already sell stuff. That's awesome. And yeah, we are slightly positive on the food. I'm not going to sell anything else. Let's sell some food. Let's sell 20,000 food. Do it. That's an extra 26,000. We'll leave. Um, it looks like the courier station is built. Yep, so let's arrange some transport from Dankshire is what's the max from Dankshire? 70 or West Ridge is 75 Yeah, nuts to it, man. About 53 days. Actually, does that change? Nah. 
Yeah. All right, so... Let's just grab 75 from Westridge. Uh, it's going to cost us again 11 million. Let's do it. Uh, let's put a quick pause on there. Uh, so, yeah, cloth, clothing. I think we pop down while we're here we drop down a bamboo grove and a weaving house just to make a tiny amount of Plus for our wood. And we will drop down a stone mine as well. Let's drop that down there. We should probably build some some horizontal roads as well. Some H roads. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, upgrade, oops, sorry, upgrade the watchtower again. Uh, but like I say, I mean, we don't need it to be, it, it does overlap, see? Okay, so that is the Doomsday Whistle. It does feel like we've not done all that much. Um, you know, we started, we're getting all of our ducks in a row. That's going to be the usual thing of blessing trees and escort agencies. So I'll probably place those down off camera and then you come back next episode and we'll just, we'll just carry on. All right, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Isn't that immoral?